mean, it wasn't terrible mistakes by Kane, just could have been a little bit more clinical. But just playing O'Sullivan in this form, it proved to be so important. You could play plenty of matches, make a lot more mistakes and still win. Just any mistake against Ronnie in this form just seems to be magnified. And again, similar to the frame to go 3 1. His break building, as I said earlier, is like, like an art form. How he goes about it, picks up the open reds, finds a position to open the rest of them, and then from there, his immaculate cue, ball control, does the rest. Brilliant. Ah, no century. But the frame and the match came to a rather swift end there. 82 in the last three breaks in the 80s from O'Sullivan. And the match just got away from Ken Doherty. So Ronnie O'Sullivan, to the delight of this crowd, they're scrambling for autographs and pictures already. He's into the last 64. He'll play Mark Davis, another veteran, in round two tomorrow. And whenever he plays, wherever he plays, there's always a great excitement and you can see there the fans they were hoping for a few autographs they might get them later maybe at the venue but the main thing is they'll be seeing Ronnie O'Sullivan again he's beaten Ken Doherty by five frames to one